いただきます I can't stop smiling. So after you break it, don't rub chopsticks like this. We never do this. Hello guys, I'm George. Today I'm gonna be eating sushi at Sushi Roll. Sushi Roll is one of the best conveyor belt sushi chains in Japan. But this January, a disgusting incident happened at a Sushi Roll restaurant in Gifu Prefecture. A Japanese teenager licked the top of soy sauce bottle that we all share. And he also licked the teacup and his finger and put it on a piece of sushi that's still on a conveyor belt. So other diners probably ate it, which included his saliva. This video was possible on social medias and has been seen by millions of people. And many customers had doubts about hygiene and safety and refused to dine at Sushi Roll. And it caused the market value of Sushi Roll's parent company to lose more than 16 billion yen or 115 million dollars in a single day. Also, the damages they got was not just the loss of trust or business, but cost of additional sanitary measures as well. They had to change all the soy sauce bottles and stop operating the conveyor belts. In Japan, we call this incident sushi terrorism. So now, Sushiro is suing this kid for 67 million yen, which is about half a million dollars. I'm a huge fan of Sushiro and their sushi is absolutely delicious. So I want to support their business. So let's go eat and enjoy one dollar sushi there. Almost one dollar. Let's go. Vamos! Alright, so I came to Sushiro Shinjuku Higashiguchi location. Yay! So I had to get permission from Sushiro company to film beforehand because of the incident. Now they're so strict with filming at the restaurant. So if you want to film, you gotta get permission from the company, not the restaurant. And make sure you can't film the servers and customers. Alright, let's go. Alright, so I'm so hungry. So basically you order your sushi on this panel. You can order whatever you want and whenever you want. And here you can choose the language. Japanese or English, or Chinese or Korean. Let's turn English on like this. It takes time. Alright, here we go. It works. Ta -da! There are over 100 menu items to choose from. And basically you don't have to talk with the servers. All you have to do is use this machine to order. Alright, so as a starter, I'm gonna get salmon first. And order. So, due to the incident, they stopped serving sushi on a conveyor belt, as you can see here. Things you can get from here is like wasabi. So sad. Here it comes. Look at this. My beloved salmon. Thank you very much. Oh yeah. So before eating, let me teach you guys how to use chopsticks Japanese way. So after you break it, don't rub chopsticks like this. We never do this. I know you guys do this to get rid of splinters, but if we Japanese people see you rubbing chopsticks like this, we go like, are you making fire? So don't make fire and don't lick the size of the bottle at sushi restaurants. Alright, so for a lower chopstick, it is supported by your ring finger and thumb, like this. An upper one is supported by your index finger and middle finger and your thumb, like this. This is Japanese way to eat sushi. Alright, here we go, my first sushi. Itadakimasu. Very good. So now I'm gonna eat Sushiro's popular menu items and my favorite menu items. Let's start Sushiro's popular menu items first. All right, Sushiro's popular sushi, number five, tamago. After you finish your very first sushi, it becomes a plate for soy sauce. Here we go. Mm -hmm. All right, so Japanese way to eat sushi is you dip the topping, not the rice, because it does soak too much soy sauce, which makes it very salty. So, you go like this. <laughs> Sorry. So you go like this. See? Not the rice. And then, go for it. Mm -hmm. Japanese tamago stuff like tamago sushi and tamago sandwich that you can get from convenience store is amazing. I love Japanese tamago stuff. Sushiro's popular sushi number four, shrimp avocado. 
So it's got some shrimp, avocado, onions, and some mayo on top as well. Wow, it looks gorgeous. As gorgeous as you. Thank you for watching. Itadakimasu. It's been a while since I last ate this one, but this is amazing. This is so good. Japanese mayo makes everything perfect. Mecha mecha umai. For sushi, is popular sushi number three, salmon. Salmon is on the third place. Who doesn't like salmon? All right, let's dig in. Itadakimasu. Perfecto. So if you get thirsty, you can drink hot green tea for free. Basically, you can make it by yourself. So get the teacup from here and let's take this one. It's got a lot of uh, green tea powder inside and maybe one shake or two shakes are enough. It's not enough. All right, so this amount should be enough and Let's get some hot water from here. Alright. Ta-da! Personally, I would recommend you stir it a little bit so that it's going to be mixed completely. Cheers! I love it. Next, Sushi Rose popular sushi number two, yellow tail. Itadakimasu! It's so freaking fresh and it's got a rich flavor. I almost forgot this item, ginger. Let's order it. Alright, so this is gari, which is pickled ginger. It's pickled in sweet vinegar, so it's slightly sweet. We usually eat this in between sushi dishes to refresh the mouth. Itadakimasu! Mm. Personally, I like it. I love the taste of gari but I know some foreigners don't like it. So leave your comment down below about whether you like it or not. All right, Sushiro's most popular sushi, red tuna. Itadakimasu. I can't stop smiling. So good. All right, now I'm gonna try my top five favorite sushi. Let's go. My favorite sushi number five, chopped tuna. So this style of sushi is called gunkan or gunkan maki. Gunkan literally means worship. All right, itadakimasu. Fantastic. And gari. My favorite sushi number four, deep fried shrimp. So for deep fried shrimp, instead of soy sauce, you can put this sweet soy sauce. A little bit. Very crunchy. It's absolutely fantastic. My favorite sushi, number three, natto roll. Natto is Japanese fermented soybeans and I love it. If you are a vegetarian, you can try this or they also have things like cucumber roll and corn mayo sushi, but there's not that many options for vegetarians, unfortunately. But natto roll is something I would highly recommend for all of you. It's definitely worth trying. Itadakimasu! I love this, ever since I was a kid. My favorite sushi, number two, salmon with cheese. I love salmon, but with cheese, it gets a lot better. Cheese on sushi, that makes sense. But I remember when I was in Brazil, they had strawberry sushi, which doesn't make sense at all. Don't put fruits on sushi, that never works. Itadakimasu. Mm. Much better than strawberry sushi. Before eating my most favorite sushi, I'm gonna eat this gari to refresh the mouth. All right, my absolute favorite sushi, number one, unagi eel. For unagi eel, you don't dip this topping in soy sauce. You put this sweet soy sauce again, and this combination is amazing. Wow, itadakimasu. This is absolutely the best. So good. All right, so after eating all the sushi, I'm gonna try side dishes. All right, so for side dish, I got chalon mushi, which is steamed egg custard, which has very seafood inside. I got spoon, itadakimasu. Can you see the steam? It's very high. It's so light and smooth. Tastes very good. It's got a lot of stuff inside. Like scallop, right here, and yes, shrimp. I'm gonna go with this shrimp. 
いただきます。うん。many flavors going on here in this massive scallop。うん。If you ever come to sushi roll, this is something you have to try. Lastly, I got sushi roll's fish and chips. Let's see how it tastes like. I don't want to get my hand dirty, so I'm gonna eat this with chopsticks. Itadakimasu. No bad. When it comes to fries, during my world travels, the best fries I had was in Belgium. Belgian fries are the best in the world, like 10 out of 10. And I would give Sushiro's fries a 7 out of 10. Alright, so let's try this fish. Itadakimasu.、Mm. It's actually pretty good. Wow. This fish tempura is amazing. It's so crunchy and so fluffy inside. But let me tell you one thing I really need tartar sauce. Sushiro san, not ketchup. Alright, so for my very last sushi, I got Otoro sushi. <laughs> <laughs> right after you bite it, it just melts in your mouth. It just disappeared. Alright, gochi so sama d i s h a It was all delicious. So, when it comes to the price, the colors of clay tell us prices. So, yellow one is the cheapest one, almost a dollar. And the red one is in the middle. And the black one is the expensive one. And the white plate is the most expensive one. The price is very dependent on the locations, but usually around this price. <sighs> Alright, I'm so full. It was all delicious. If you ever come to Japan, you should definitely visit Sushiro to eat delicious sushi. And thank you, Sushiro san, for letting me film the video here. And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day. Bye.